Okay, yesterday, what was the date yesterday? I don't know. At any rate, I noticed up on um, Amazon that they had this arcade version of the MIB for $20, so I ordered one. It arrived today, and today when I did a post on YouTube about the low price, they're $18. So somebody must be clearing out stock. Who knows, tomorrow maybe they'll be $16. But if you've ever wanted a balancing robot, this might be the time to get one. Now, my original plan was to buy it and tear it apart and then see what I could mod and do with it. But now that I've seen how different it is from the earlier versions of the MIP, I think I'm going to have to keep it. Um, for me, the balancing robots really started back here with the uh, Gyrobo. I've done a video on this Gyrobo, and I'll put a link to it down below. It's very short, but you should see it's really cool. Because the nice thing about the Gyrobo is it actually has a physical remote control, joystick control. You don't have to use your smartphone app or anything like that. And then I had uh, the two color variations on this MIB here. But you can see it's smaller. It's physically smaller. This is a much bigger robot. Bigger wheels, bigger body. These ones run on a uh, four AAA batteries that actually go in this compartment back here. Whereas this guy here runs on four AA batteries which uh, actually come with it. So let's, uh, let's pull this back enough to where I can open that up. I'm going to have to move these guys out of the way. I don't have enough room for everything to be up here. <coughs> the one that's in here is just black instead of being white. In case you were wondering. Um, we could put batteries in this first one too, I guess. If you just want to see how that works. I've got some batteries here. Let's um, see if I have a small enough Phillips. Here we go. This shouldn't take too long. It's got kind of a, a built-in battery pack. And I believe these screws are captive, so you don't have to worry about losing them. This is just a little stand for display. When you're playing with a toy, you don't, uh, you don't have that on there. There we go. So you can see what this looks like, and it's just going to go in there. I'm going to put some uh, AAA batteries in there. So, let's uh, screw that back in place. Like that. All right. And we'll remove this. The toys also have uh, different functions. Um, So that's the balance function, obviously, because <clears throat> it's balancing. But uh, it can do hand gestures and different things like that. But most of its functions would come if you were tying into the uh, smartphone app. Also supposed to not run into things, but uh, anyway. Let's turn that guy off for now. Let's look at the new one. Because I'm sure you can find plenty of videos on the old MIP, if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Like I say, it only took one day to get here, so they must have had stock in my local Amazon warehouse. Maybe it's a regional thing. I don't know. Maybe this low price isn't for everywhere in the USA. I don't know. I just checked and I saw that it was still uh, available. Like I say, it even came with uh, batteries, which is nice. And it also comes with a whole bunch of accessories, which I've already stuffed back in here. There's a basketball hoop, there's a styrofoam basketballs, because there's the game where, you, where it moves around and you try to throw the balls into the basket and it counts how many times you successfully have done so. And it's got uh, a major, quite thick, instruction book on using the thing plus a quick 
quick sheet, which I think we'll look at that, because I'm not going to be loading any app on any smartphone. I hate smartphone controlled toys. I prefer a physical controller. So, uh, talks about uh, power on, balance, uh, hold it on a flat surface without letting go. As soon as you detect that it's trying to balance, let go. It's got uh, gesture control, it shows moving the hands around in front of it. Then it talks about uh, putting the tray on, the basket. You got a tray so you can carry like cans of soda and stuff around. The basketball mode. Here you got a dance mode. It says double tap the top of his head and they'll go into dance mode. Record mode. Uh, when MIP isn't balancing, tap the head twice. How's that different than double tap the head? I guess when you double tap it when it's in balance mode, it goes into dance. If you double tap it when it's not in balance mode, then you can record a three second message, which the robot can say back. Uh, free roam mode, double clap. So you can clap your hands twice and it'll go into a free roam mode. Then it talks about getting the app to control everything via your phone. Now I don't believe we can work with it up here. We're going to have to go down to the floor with that, so hang on everybody. And the camera is so high up in the air that I really don't know how well this is going to turn out. Let's see, how can I get more? So, where do I got to be for this to even show up? Over here somewhere, I guess, huh? Turn it on. There it is. There it is balancing. So let's see. I believe that's free roam mode. So I guess it's just going to roam around. And let's see what happens when it finally bumps into something. said whoops I guess and fell over well that's handy let's see if we can get let's see if we can get some other modes going here let's uh so we're not in balance mode let's see what was the uh what was the double clap mode thing One of them was dance mode. We never, we never made it into dance mode, did we? I think it's roaming again. Well, it didn't fall over that time. And I believe it's met its match. It's up against the uh, gutter cleaning robot, which I've covered in uh, other videos. Okay, so what did that uh, cheat sheet say? Let's tip this up. You can look at him while I'm looking at the uh, instructions here. Power on, balance, gesture, I don't care about any of those things. Dance mode, double tap the head to make him dance. Well, I didn't. Didn't have any luck with that. I'm not sure what it's doing. <laughs> Trying to get the camera so you guys can see what he's doing. I would still call that the roaming around mode. So. What the heck, huh? I really think unless you're willing to uh, install the app, you can't drive it around and, and have a lot of fun with it. Free roam, I, I seem to keep getting into free roam. I never found uh, record mode. When arcade isn't balancing, 
Tap the head twice to trigger record mode. Hmm. Okay, we'll repeat back to you. So if it's not in balance mode, what mode is it in? Test, test. Test, test. So obviously I'm not smart enough to know how to make this thing work. You gotta have to be a kid to figure that out, I guess. So at any rate, this is what I got for, in my case, 20 bucks is what you can get for your 18. And um, part of me really wants to tear this thing apart to see what I could do with the balancing thing and building it into different types of robots and stuff like that. But another part of me, since I'm a collector, and it's so different from the earlier MIB, here they are side by side. You can see the size difference, not only in the wheels, but in the body. I assumed they were gonna be the same size, but it's a completely different toy. So, what the heck, huh? That's not a button. It's got sensors. I'm sure we could do the hand gesture thing, but it's kind of hard to hold the camera and do hand gestures at the same time. Would have liked to have been able to get into dance mode, but uh, I just kept getting into free roam. It says double tap the head to make Mib Arcade dance. Well, who knows? Maybe they consider uh, roaming around the same as dancing. I don't know. I don't think we got enough room here. Let's try one more. We'll try once more. Let's get down here. And uh, let's turn him on. Okay, he's balanced. I know you can't see him. He's under the camera. I don't want you back there. Seems to like to start up and go shooting. Shooting. Holy gamoli. Yeah, you got that right. That was two taps. And he's just gliding around. Yeah, it's an app-driven toy, so I think unless you're uh, willing to get out your smartphone and put it in the wrap, you're not going to get the most fun out of this toy. That uh, earlier version of the uh, Gyrobot, which I've done a video on in the past, and I'll put a link to down below. This was a whole lot more fun to play with because it has that physical remote control joystick, and it also does line following mode. It's got a a big map we can sit it on there and it self balances and follows the, the line all over the place. So there's our, uh, our MIB sleeping, waiting for someone to either tear it apart or load the app.